Hi children. Praise be to Jesus. I know that you are all going to receive Jesus Christ, eagerly waiting to receive him. And the catechism department of the Diocese of Manandavadi has prepared a series of lessons for you that will take you up to that point of receiving the Holy Communion, which is the body of Christ. You know, in the Gospels, the Gospel of Jesus, the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 18, verse 16 and 17, we can read this. But Jesus, calling them together, said, Allow the children to come to me, and do not be an obstacle to them, for of such is the kingdom of God. Amen, I say to you, whoever will not accept the kingdom of God like a child will not enter into it. So you are lucky people. You, you are the people whom Jesus offers his kingdom of God. You see, in order to enter into the kingdom or the place of joy, of divine joy that Jesus offers, you need to be innocent. Children are like that. I know that you are all innocent children. But as you grow up, you can be sure that there will be occasions to go against the will of Jesus Christ. They are called sins. And we need to be free from those sins to enter into the kingdom that Jesus offers us. And receiving Jesus Christ, you, you, some of you might have already received Jesus Christ when you receive the baptism and the confirmation. But some other people, they may not have received. It doesn't matter. And you will receive for the first time with full knowledge that you are seeing really Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And this is a big beginning for you. Now onwards, Jesus is always accompanying you, loving you, caring for you, guiding you, protecting you. No matter where you go, He is always with you. So these 14 lessons that I prepared for you will be really, you know, a good thing for you that will accompany you throughout your life. God bless you all and also your parents and teachers. Take care, my kids. Praise be to Lord Jesus Christ. Dear children, welcome back to another session of our online classes on the First Holy Communion. In the last session, we learned about how to receive the Holy Eucharist worthily. Today, we are going to learn about Holy Mother as our mother and model of the Church. Let us now join in this prayer song, seeking the intercession of our Heavenly Mother to guide and lead us to Jesus. May Mother Mary help us to understand deeply the God's love. Every tiny star that twinkles in the night sky, every drop of morning dew, every spark of fire blazing in the furnace, every captivating view. Every ocean wave that 
breaks upon the seashore Every stalk of golden wheat Every silver stream that gushes down the mountain Every drop of honey sweet Every eagle flying high Every worm that wriggles by Tells a fascinating news to those who dare to hope And the message is by the Catholic Church and the third woman saint of the Syro Malabar Catholic Church. She was the one who adopted the Blessed Virgin Mary as her own mother when her mother died. Such was her deep love towards Mother Mary. She founded the Congregation of the Holy Family for Women Religious. She dedicated her life for the renewal of families through her prayers mortifications, family visits, and spiritual sharing. Thus she, she tried to lead every kind of family to God. Hope you could guess the person. Yes, she is Saint Mariam Tresia, the patroness of families. She was born on 26th April 1876 in Putanchira, Kerala, South India. She was the third of five children. She was named Theresia after St. Therese of Avila. Her mother had a deep knowledge of God. Her mother could give her deep faith formation as a child. She writes thus about her childhood. When I was six, my companions used to love calling me Granny because I used to go to the Holy Mass every day. As my mother came to know of it, she objected me to go to the church daily. I requested her not to tell so, because one does not have to reach a certain age to love God. These were her words to her mother. Her mother died when she was only 12 years old. She adopted Mother Mary as her mother and kept a close relationship with her throughout her life. Right from her childhood, Mother Mary trained her to get more and more closer to Jesus. 
She wanted to be called by the name Miriam as she believed in a vision that Blessed Virgin Mary had asked her to add Miriam to her name Tracia. She was blessed with mystical experiences. She was known for receiving frequent visions, ecstasies as well as even the stigmata. She had to undergo severe diabolic attacks, physical tortures and mental agonies. She was often consoled by the celestial visions, especially those of the Holy Family. She also had the visions of purgatory, hell and heaven. She prayed for the souls in, for, in purgatory regularly. There are many instances recorded when the souls approached her for prayers. When she discerned that the condition at home were not favorable for her for a life of solitude, she could discern her vocation under the guidance of her spiritual director, Venerable Father Joseph Vedetil. She found a new congregation in which she professed her vows. She was the first superior of that congregation. She continued to work for the poor and the families. Even today, the members of her congregation continue the family apostolate by carrying the compassionate love of God for families. She died on 8 June 1926 and was canonized by Pope Francis on 13th October 2019. Children, from the life of St. Miriam Theresia, we get to know how beautifully Mother Mary took care of her because Miriam Theresia totally entrusted herself to Mother Mary. Throughout her life, she experienced the protection and care of Mother Mary. Saint Bonaventure says thus, Mary seeks for those who approached her devoutly and with reverence. For such, she loves, nourishes and adopts as her children. This is what Saint Miriam Theresia did. She wholeheartedly approached her and experienced her maternal care right from her childhood. So dear children, let us run to her as a little child and cast ourselves into her arms with a perfect confidence. Dear children, on your first Holy Communion Day, the priest usually blesses and gives rosary and brown scapula. Let us understand briefly now the significance of the rosary and the brown scapula. Let us now try to understand briefly the rosary. Rosary comes from Latin word rosarium meaning rose garden. There are 20 mysteries from the life of Christ we meditate deeply in the rosary. Many people would just pray one set of mysteries either joyful mysteries, sorrowful mysteries, luminous mysteries or glorious mysteries. There are also others who say the full rosary regularly med meditating on all the four mysteries. Dear children, the joyful mysteries are prayed typically on Mondays and Saturdays. Luminous mysteries are prayed on Thursdays. Sorrowful mysteries are prayed on Tuesdays and Fridays. And the glorious mysteries are prayed on Sundays and Wednesdays. During the apparition of Our Lady of Fatima, she appeared to Lucia, Francisco and Jacinta. At each apparition of Our Lady, she requested that the rosary should be prayed every day to obtain peace in the world. Many saints pray the 20 mysteries of the rosary regularly and even more. Special grace is usually given to those who complete the full rosary. Dear children, let's take 
the powerful weapon of rosary in our hands and make a strong resolution to say the rosary every day. Let's sing a hymn to the Queen of the Holy Rosary now. the Holy Rosary, oh bless us as we pray, and offer thee our roses in garlands day by day, while from our Father's garden with loving hearts and bold, we gather to thine honor, but right and briefly the significance of wearing the brown scapular. It is believed that Our Lady of Mount Carmel has promised salvation to those who died wearing the Carmelite scapular. This promise of Our Lady of Mount Carmel was given to Saint Simon Stock on 16 July 1255. She said to him thus, this is a privilege for you and those who die wearing it will be saved. Thus the scapula became an integral part of the Carmelite habit and a symbol of Blessed Mother's maternal protection. This devotion spread to the laity in a reduced form. Two squares of bound brown fabric tied by cord that rest on the shoulders one square is the image of Our Lady of Mount Carmel and other is the image of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. When the Blessed Mother appeared later to Pope John XXII, she promised she would free its wearers from purgatory on the Saturday after their death. Isn't it a good promise? Come on, let us now sing and dance along with this action song. I want to say yes, yes, just like Mary said. I want to say yes, yes, just like Mary said. I want to say yes, yes, just like Mary said. Yes, 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 Lord. Yes, 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 Lord.
St. Kuryakos Elias Chavra said thus, I never had to draw the net empty after casting it in the name of Mother Mary. He also added that when he prayed Hail Holy Queen and Memorare three times, Our Lady changed any problem that looked as huge as mountain into something as light as a flower. May these words of St. Chavra encourage us to say devoutly Memorare and Hail Holy Queen. Come on, let us learn these prayers. Memorare, prayer of St. Bernard. Remember, a most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection implored thy help or sought thine intercession was left unaided inspired by this confidence i fly unto thee o virgin of virgins my mother to thee do i come before thee i stand sinful and sorrowful O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Hail Holy Queen, Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, Hail, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O merciful, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Amen. Let us now learn briefly about Mary as the mother of God. Mary was a Jewish girl chosen by God to be the mother of Jesus. Mother Mary gave birth to Jesus. Jesus is perfectly God as a second person in the Trinity. He is perfectly a human being too. Incarnation is to be understood as God becoming man. It means that the second person in the Trinity becomes a perfect human being without losing the status of God. It is God becoming man or Emmanuel. Mary is the mother of God because God chose her to give birth to Jesus. God gave Mary the privilege and grace to become the mother of Jesus because the word was there even before the birth of Mother Mary. At the time of Annunciation, the angel of God told Mary about God's plan for her. And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. She gave birth to the Son of God in a manger in Bethlehem. Jesus was brought up by St. Joseph and Mother Mary. And they had to face a lot of difficulties to bring him up. But both of them faced everything joyfully as per the plan of God. At the foot of the cross, Jesus gave us Mother Mary as the mother of the whole world. The first council of Ephesus, it declared Mary as the mother of God. Now let us together venerate Mother Mary as the mother of God as we join to sing this hymn.
about the Immaculate Conception of Mary. Pope Pius IX, in 1954, proclaimed the Immaculate Conception of Mary. The Immaculate Conception means Mary was conceived without the original sin. She also remained without sin throughout her life. Come on children, let us sing together a hymn to Mary the Immaculate.
children, when we say that Mary conceived Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit, we must understand it is a fulfillment of God's promise. We read about this divine promise in the book of the prophet Isaiah, where it is said, Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son. Let us now try to understand briefly about the assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary into heaven. Pope Pius XII said, Immaculate Mother of God, the ever-Virgin Mary, having completed the course of her earthly life, was assumed into the heavenly glory with her body and soul. The Feast of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary is celebrated usually on 15th August. Dear children, Mary is not only the Queen of Heaven, but also the Queen of all saints and angels. Dear children, we have learned that Mother Mary was open to the divine plans. Let us seek her powerful intercession to be open to God's plan, to be obedient and transparent like her. Joining with this hymn, let us seek her powerful intercession to be open to be humble, to be willing to God's will always. children, I hope you could follow today's session. I want you to find time to learn the prayers that we learned today. May God bless you all and may Mother Mary constantly assist you throughout your life. See you next time.